hey guys welcome back so we have talked about the condition uh, statements we have talked about if else and when so in this video we will talk about arrays and list so uh, this is the very common thing which what is an array so array is something like there is a difference between array and list in kotlin so array is something in which you can't add uh, any uh, further element and in list you can add further element so uh, we will just uh, do it with the ex help of example so uh, if i have to print some uh, you know some in, uh, i have to take some inputs then i cannot to take uh, multiple variables for a simple thing like uh, i have to uh, take some name so how you will uh, take some names like variable name one is equal to suppose my name pavan variable name two is equal to Rohit and variable name 3 is equal to some <coughs> anyone sorry anyone like uh, Rahul so this is how you will take this uh, variable so it is just uh, making your code little bit uh, complicated and uh, it will use more memory so this is not uh, we will going to do this so what we will do we will use arrays first of all and then I will tell you about lists so how we will declare an array well array is equal to you can write array of is a function here and you will write elements here suppose i have to write those elements pavan and uh, i'll write rahul and i'll write rohit and one more i'll write like uh, suppose anyone uh, madan so this is uh, this will be our array now I, we will print this array and let's see is it working or not so this is basically your array and it has four elements and one more thing you have to make sure that in programming everything is it starts from zero not from one so how it will work so you can see that I have printed the array and it uh, gave me an uh, something which I can't understand that is because we are we can't uh, print the value of all this array so how it will work I will tell you that so what I'm I was telling you I was telling you that uh, everything starts from zero like uh, if you are if you see this array then there are four elements first one is Pavan Rahul one uh, Rahul is second one Rohit is uh, third one and Madan is fourth one so uh, everything starts from zero that means that index of Pavan is zero index of Rahul is one uh, index of Rohit is 2 and index of Madan is 3 which you can see that Pawan is at 0 position Rahul is at 1 position Rohit is at 2 position and Madan is at 3 position so if I want to print the value of Pawan then I have to write print arrow at 0 position and you will use these brackets now, now if I will run this application then I will see that uh, it will again take some time some precious time so this is uh, you can see the output is pavan and similarly if you will write uh, two suppose for rohit then it's gonna give you the output as rohit so let's see again the output I'm just doing this because uh, I want you to just practice more and more so this is Rohit so this is how it will work and I can also have a function array dot I can write size and it will give me the number of elements in this array so let's see so this is still takes some time so you can see in the output now that uh, it uh, output is 4 so the value is 4 so there are four elements in this array now if i want to add any further element suppose array dot add so there is no any function like that so that is why we use here array lists which is uh, you know you can add or remove whatever you want to do so this the, there are uh, more functions like if you will press any key then you can see all the available functions from here which you can use while using this array so if you have to print anything then you can use by index 
so this is how it will work with arrays and now we will make a list so one more thing i want to tell you that if you write a array of uh, like this then uh, uh, if you must be wondering that what type of inputs in it can take so you can write anything uh, in kotlin this is the uh, you know quality of kotlin that if you, i want to write pawan in the next field i can take an integer like one in the other field i can take a float like 5.8 and in the last field i can take uh you can say a boolean which is like true so they uh, if i will print the suppose value of uh, array 1 and uh, index 3 or let's say 2 so if i will run this application if i will run this program then i can see the output as it should be 5.8 and this should not give me any error because of the beauty of this Kotlin. So you can see 5.8. But there might be some situation where you will want that I only uh, allow to take only integer array. So what you can do, you can write here int array of and now you can't write any string here. If you will write hi here, so you can see the error type mismatch so this is how you will work with arrays now i'll talk about array lists so let's take a array list and now we will write some elements here and uh, those elements will be first one will be my name pavan obviously second let's take again rahul back and rohit is also here and our fourth one was madan okay so this is how my array list will look like and i haven't write array list off and uh, i'm just fixing that last brace so this is how i'll declare my array list now if uh, suppose i can also you know, you know print similarly like uh, i printed in array suppose i have to take the third element and print its output then i can run this app and uh, we'll see the output will be similar now suppose if i have to add another person in the list so i uh, i couldn't do that in the array but right now uh, here you can see the output mother so but right now i can do that operation in this array list suppose array list dot add so here you can see there is a function like that so i will add an element suppose uh, we will take another name like uh, kamal and uh, so i have added this and now we will run this again so you can also uh, print the number of element by using dot size method here too and uh, this is similar to array but the only difference is that uh, here you can't uh, you can add elements so i have added this and now i will if i will print array list dot to string so to string uh, another method which is used to you know uh, display anything in in the form of a string so i'm just showing this because uh, you will understand this when the output will appear so here you can see i have all the elements pavan rahul rohit madan and kamal so this is how it will work and now if you want to remove any element suppose i want to remove rohit from here so i can perform remove and i can write the name of that person rohit and again i can print array list dot to string so this is how it will work and uh, believe me this is very easy so these are some operations of array list i can also perform some substring function here if i want to take uh, from 1, 2, 3, so you can write there is Rahul, Pavan, Madan and Kamal uh, and Rohit has been removed. 